Hey, it's editors Gregory and Ashley here with another Trend Talks. Ashley's gonna start. Well, we're actually gonna talk about something that I'm rocking right now. It's braids. Um, they are all over the runways, they're all over celebrities, um, especially for the summer, braids couldn't be a better hairstyle. Um, but they're really growing up. You know, they're not the pigtail braids, they're not the little house on the prairie yeah. braids anymore. Um, they're really sophisticated, very chic, uh, red carpet appropriate, black tie appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, and I love it because it literally is a way to get the hair off your face and but keep it a little fun and young. Um, one of my favorite examples is Diane Kruger. She wore this to die for hairstyle at the premiere of The Bridge. Um, it was this really funky French braid, but then that was that was done inside out. But then she braided that braid with two other strands to make a looser, more outside in braid. Super complicated. Super complicated, <laughs> but it looked so cool. And it, she was wearing this really wild embellished dress and it just kind of all worked together. It was very cool. Um, another example is the Met Ball this year. There were so many different celebrities that were wearing braids. Kristen Stewart was one of them. She had this really cool like wave tendril in front and then just a little fishtail braid in the back. Um, really sophisticated. What are some really bad examples out there? <sighs> well, I mean, Kelly Osbourne, you know, she's rocking her purple locks and go girl. But she wore these like crazy dozen little braids with like mm. safety pins in it. Um, it was just too weird and it makes me think of a rapper from the 90s. It does. It was right. a little coolio looking, yeah. but you know, with her, you know, <laughs> punk princess attitude, but right. you know, she's not 16 anymore. She's almost 30 and I think she needs to stop with the uh, yeah. you know, juvenile hair styles, you know. So let's take a look at some other celebrities and runways that Kelly should reference in Rocking Braids Right. Braids were all over the spring runways in various shapes and forms, from sporty to bohemian, in the shows of designers such as Rachel Zoe, Mara Hoffman, VPL, Naeem Khan, Nicole Miller, and Rebecca Minkoff. Eva Longoria recently wore her hair in a two-tone undone fishtail braid with her blush-colored beignet dress at the Cannes Film Festival. Also at Cannes, Blake Lively was spotted sporting a braided high ponytail on the red carpet. On fashion's biggest night of the year, Emma Stone, Janelle Monet, and Joan Smalls all rock braids along with their couture clothing at the Met Ball in New York City. Jennifer Morrison looked as if she was straight out of a fairy tale, donning a sweet crown braid at the Once Upon a Time press line at San Diego's Comic Con. Kate Bosworth wore a rather daring hairstyle to the New York premiere of Big Sur, with a long braid sitting on top of her head rather than dangling from the side. Want to get the look? Head over to the John Barrett Salon's Braid Bar in New York City, or check out the beauty section of fashionstyle.com for new tricks and tips every week. So while the ladies are rocking braids, Gregory, what do you see in the guys doing in the grooming well, department? Guys are actually going crazy with beards and they're putting flowers in them. What? And yeah, we know beard culture has been crazy lately. Jared Leto, Joe Mangliano, a ton of celebrities are looking super sexy in them, but I think they're getting a little bored and they're turning to florals and just throwing flowers in their beards. It's a little too Woodstocky for me, a little too crazy. It's intense, very Coachella, very flower child, but I think it, I mean, I love myself a floral, but I think it's a little aggressive too. Yeah, you know, I'm all for an urban lumberjack who like can rock a heavy beard and a suit, um, but I just can't imagine someone like a Penn Badgley who's like, you know, one of my favorite sexy scruffy guys putting like a little daisy in his <laughs> beard. It just seems right. so crazy yeah. to me. And I read in Mr. Porter recently that kind of bearded culture is on the decline and I think that this is a testament to it. I mean, what else can you do like with your beard besides put flowers in it? Yeah, so. I feel like it's probably gone to as far as it can go and right. you're actually seeing some guys starting to shave off their beards. Exactly. Like Justin Thoreau was you know, Jennifer Aniston's yeah. boo. He was rocking a really heavy beard and you know, he would just, you know, he got rid of it. So I don't know, maybe the beards are on the decline and maybe the floral is their little last goodbye. Right. So let's check out some men who are rocking flowers in their beards. I want to buy you flowers. It's such a shame you're a boy. But when you are not a girl, nobody buys you flowers. I want to buy you flowers And now I'm standing in the shop I must confess, I wonder If you will like my flowers Thanks for checking back in with me and Ashley. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay on top of all the fashion and beauty news.